Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am back today to tell you how you can download the free printable that I featured in my latest sheet load of cards videos. I hope you'll stick around, get a couple tips on the printable and find out how you can download it for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. When I debuted the January 2021 sheet load of cards, I let you know that I will be back with a free printable. This printable has five pages in it with various sentiments. For my first set of cards this month, I used the sheet that had different thank you sentiments. And today I'm going to show you how you can print those and cut them. So once they're all cut, you can put them right onto that sketch this month. Make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video to find out how you can download the file for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. The PDF that you'll be able to download and print is five pages. Once again, I use the thank you page on my cards for the month. Now, even though you can only make nine cards with this month's sketch if you do one set, there are 15 different sentiments on each page so you can choose what you want to use. I went ahead and printed off a copy of each for you just so you can take a look at those. There's another page in that file that is birthday wishes. Another is just like thinking about you, sending you hugs, hoping you're having a good day. Just various ones that you could let friends and family know that you're thinking about them. Then I had a page of different blessings and then you are in my prayers and our prayers. And then finally, I made a sheet where I had check boxes. So these are gonna fit lots of different kinds of cards. I had a little mini set of cards like this that I bought at Michael's years ago, and I am down to just the last couple. So I thought I would make my own printable so that I can make a card and then just check the occasion when I'm ready to give it out. Before I show you how to cut the file, let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like when you'll print it. Please keep in mind as I start to show you how I'm doing my printing that yours might look differently depending on whether you open it with Acrobat Reader or if you open it just from the website and print it. Either way, you should be able to do a file print or there should be a little printer icon on your screen. So you'll want to click either one of those that will work for you and then a box that's similar to the one in front of me will come up. I'm going to be using my brother black and white laser printer today, so I selected that from my printer pull down list. And then you'll see here that my preview looks a little wonky, so I clicked on landscape so it filled it correctly. Since this is just a little demonstration, I will only be printing page one today. Once I've set the pages I wanted to print, this is very important. When you go to print, you want to make sure that your file is going at actual size to be sure you could always enter 100% in a custom scale box. If you don't print it at 100%, your crop marks later and the finished size of your pieces is not going to be correct. Because I'm going to be printing onto cardstock, I do need to open up a separate printer dialog box. Now again, yours might look slightly different than this, but I need to make sure that I tell my printer that I'm gonna be putting cardstock in it. And on my specific printer, I feed this in through a manual tray on the front. You'll want to refer to however yours works if you're going to do it on cardstock. Now, if you have a really nice thick printer paper, you might be able to use that since it's going to be backed onto cardstock. Once all of those things are set, you can click print and go put your cardstock or paper in your printer if you need it, and then click print again, and then you should have a final print ready to be cut. 
Now that your page is all printed, it's time to go ahead and cut this down. I do give some very basic instructions here at the bottom what you need to do, but I thought I would show you on camera as well. There are crop marks on the right and the bottom side. And just, you know, sometimes a printer might shift the paper a little bit, so you might have to tweak it just a little bit to fit with the crop marks, but I think it should work out just fine for you. The first cut I'm going to make is at two inches because that's how wide each of these should be. I'm gonna kind of check it with the crop marks. So I'll go ahead and cut four more strips just like that. Once they're cut into the strips, it's time to cut them down to two and a half inches tall. And these are just stacked one right on top of the other. So you can just, again, make those two and a half inch mark cuts. Now you might notice after you cut them that they don't look quite centered top to bottom. And I actually did that on purpose. Because your decorative strip will cover up a little bit of the white cardstock, I shifted them a little bit toward the top. You can always adjust this piece up or down until you like how that sentiment sits at the top as well. Then you would just continue to cut these until you have all of your sentiments cut. If you would like to download the file, here's what you need to do. First of all, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel. We're just gonna go on the honor system here. I'm not gonna make you email me for information or sign up for a mailing list. If you click on that download button and print it, please make sure that you are subscribed. It's super quick, easy, and free for you. It's just right below the window here on YouTube. Also, please make sure that you do not sell this file or distribute it yourself. Please go ahead and link up this video so anybody who would like it can go ahead and come here and grab it for themselves. In my description box below is a link to the PDF file on my Google Drive. You can open it and print it or you can download it and print it. That is up to you. If you do have any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.